Hi folks, welcome to UPC America, we're electric forklift specialists. My name is Will, and we're going to be walking you through a do-it-yourself calibration. This is for the hydraulics, uh, which is to raise it and to tilt uh, the fork. So we're going to first uh, turn the unit on, and we're going to look for service. There it is. Now when we get to service, we'll go over to the right, level two, we'll go to the right again, and we're gonna enter the code 2311. Two to the right, three to the right, one right, one enter. Okay, now as I scroll through, you, you'll see I can't find calibrate. So I have to get my feet up onto this step in order for it to allow us to get to that module okay so there it is calibrate now once I enter I can step back down and we've already done the handles on a previous uh, video now we're going to go to hydraulics and once we find hydraulics which will be your C2 we'll go tilt sensor that's the first one and do we want to do that uh, are you sure let's go down or up to yes and now we're going to tilt back by raising our thumb and bring it all the way back. Okay, there it is. Now we're going to enter to, into the center and we're going to tilt it forward by thumb down. Let it go downward. Okay, and we're going to enter. Now we're going to level our forks somewhere in the middle. It's going to go to P2 when it's level. There it is. There's P2 and we're going to enter. Now it's going to let us know if the calibration worked. Did it accept or did it fail? All right. Using default level. Calibration accepted. There we go. So far, so good. All right. Are we want to save it. Yes, we do. Now we're going to go to the next one. This one is a bit lengthier. It's for the lift, the forklift. So, do we want to do this? Yes, we do. And now it's going to walk us through it. Now, see, raise command and hold, right? So we're going to raise and we're going to maintain that command. Here we go. Finding breakout. It can tell us to maintain the command. Now, now you see, stop command. We release it. And now raise it to the max and lower it. Okay, so all the way up. Okay, and we lower it. Finding speed one. We're gonna have to do this about four times. And after the fourth time, it's gonna let us know if the calibration was accepted or if it failed. And this is a really good way to test the system. Uh, we do it for quality control. We do it to make sure whenever any component has been replaced, we calibrate it so it could sync with the modules. And here we go, this is one. Number one is the slowest as it comes down. It's gonna get a little faster as we proceed to get to the fourth being the fastest and we'll see the difference. Okay, stop command tells me now raise again. Okay. And being lower. Finding speed two. It's coming down a little faster. Now, if you see it does not stop here at this level where it's telling us to stop and it just stops from dropping, it continues to drop, there's a problem. It's, it's going to fail and you'll have to have a technician take a look at your hydraulics, um, make some adjustments or replace a valve. That's typically what might be happening. 
Okay, so here we go, raise again. Stop command. Ooh, we're gonna go. Two units only require four. This one requires five. Okay. And we're gonna drop. Minus B five. That should do it. Calibration accepted. Wonderful. We want to save it. Down or up to, to yes. And there we go. All right. Well, that should do it. I hope it helps you uh, do it yourself. And there's a few other uh, advantageous videos for us to uh, provide. Hopefully, it'll help you out.